What's going on everyone, it's Remnants here, alright, uh, so we're back for some more 7 days to die, I did a bit off camera, I'm still in the middle of doing some stuff, I'm currently breaking down some windows, and building them back up with um, the wood frames, and then um, crafting them back up, uh, to their solid blocks like this, um, I've also put down some spikes, and I've put down some more torches, around the outsides, I still haven't had a chance to put torches in here, because I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do that, um, other than that, I've just been smashing knees, I've made some torches, been putting some torches up every, every bit, so I don't need to have my flashlight on as much. Uh, so we're going to do this. At the moment, yes, it's freaking raining and there's some thunderstorm going on. I don't know if I'm going to patch that up. I think I might actually. Alright. Yeah, so at the moment I'm just building up. Uh, I do. I've got two days till the day 14 horde. Uh, oh, I don't want, don't want to upgrade to two. Yeah, so I had some zombies come in and wreck this fence. So I smashed out everything I could and added more um, spikes to it. So it went now goes all the way around. Um, I'll show you that on the other side in a second. I am I'm thirsty. Okay. Yeah, because it's raining, I did put more clothes on my character, so he would then balance out how hot he was and how cold he was for staying outside, which is actually frustrating sometimes. So I'm just currently smashing some oh, stone. The funny part about these buildings is that on the outside they're stone, as you can hear. On the inside they're wood. So, once a zombie gets inside, as you can see, wood. See? But the outside stone. Funny part about it. So once you're inside, you're pretty much fucked if you're going to start smashing out your walls. But from the outside, it's not bad. You know, outside they'll stop them, you know, take them a bit to get in. So, so this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just building up. Make sure everything's alright. Putting some torches down. So I'm just trying to make this light this up as much as I possibly could. Uh, it's still a little bit dark down there, but it's better than nothing at the moment. Uh, I'm smashing these down. Anything that's going to stop me from running um, across this, not that it's going to stop me, but I'd rather not fall off it. So uh, I think that's. Still check some. Alright, I want to leave this one here. Because yeah, I'm going to make this a bridge across. So that one's going to stay open there. Okay, I also need to fix that up. Yeah, so this is going to be like a bridge where it's out of this, Which is a little bit later on, but we will end up doing. Uh, so I need some torches. Torch there. Basically just lighting it up as much as I can. Um, also, I'll have to make some metal bars that I will put in front of these that you can actually currently shoot through. And when I get a chance, after the 14 day horde, I'm going to smash this roof down and make it just one giant long thing. Um, so I don't need... Yeah. I'll leave this here, but I'm going to be taking out all this wall. This wall and this wall. Making a ramp out the back, and making a ramp out the side here, and a little ramp out the front. So I'm going to take this wall out too. Take out this wall, so it's just one straight, one gigantic room. That down. Beautiful. Alright, so that's what I was doing. Light up the rest of this part. Yes. Yeah, that should be good, I think. Place one more there. Yeah. So this lovely little spike thing, I 
basically when I get enough concrete, when I get to concrete, I want to put like a giant um, barrier, like a wall behind my house, and it's going to be probably where my torch is, right there, or maybe back one more. It's going to be a giant concrete wall, and then it's going to be spikes in front, and then another concrete wall. So I want to try and do that, but at first I want to do concrete wall around. Um, that will take that down and work out a different way to get in and out of our house. Um, might have a little trap door out there somewhere where we can dig down and go into our base from underneath. Um, yeah, so at the moment that's it. And so what we'll do now is we can go like this. down one there one there so Grab this Well, I don't think I need this. I really don't think I do. So, I'm gonna smash this down. I wanna make it like an open plane. So, like, or open plane, sorry. So, so, have it where I can see everything, so I can smash. I might smash out. Ooh, I might smash out this wall too. May, nah, I might leave this wall, actually. Just in case. But yeah, so we don't need this doorway. might just fall once there's nothing holding it up anymore. And I'll just put a I'll just put a metal hatch below me. Below here. Just put a hatch there. So, yeah, so I'm just going to get rid of this door. We don't actually need it anymore. So, yeah, so this episode is basically going to be about building and making sure everything's all set up. For the I'm seriously sorry about that thunder. I've tried to turn the volume down and it's still that bloody thing. Okay. Yeah, so we got that and we can go uh, 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 uh. Right here Beautiful. And then we'll throw a ramp there actually. So it's currently daytime. Which is not bad. I hate that it's raining still frustrating part. So we'll go hatch. Apparently someone wants to start a whipper snipper. So I just got the dog. I hope it wasn't gonna be fucked up. Yeah, so I just got the dogs. Where did you go, buddy? I heard you die somewhere. Oh, did you hit? Ah, oh, you hit my spikes out there. Yeah, so I want to put those spikes around because at least then they've got to get the, for them to come in here, they have to get injured first. And because there's two layers of spikes, they may actually break their legs. So then they've got to crawl. So if I do that, then the thing is they may destroy my lights, which is why I was going around the lights. Um, but yeah. Why does someone actually have to whip a snip right now? No freaking joke. Alright, so what we're gonna do I think is oh, I might 
take this. Out. Oh, do I? Yeah, why the fuck not? I'm just gonna make this massive open. So at least if it's open, it'd be, it'd be a little bit harder just to get zombies get in, but at the same time, it'd make it a bit easier for me to move around in here so that I can go through doorways. Yeah. I was gonna keep this wall, but if I smash out that wall there, then this wall here is pointless. I don't really want to go outside while it's raining. Mainly because it's extremely annoying running around in the rain in this game. It just rains forever. I just thought this door would at least fall once there was nothing on it. But apparently not. Really? Seven. Okay, so what we're going to do is have a lovely walkway that's going to be have bars and stuff on it. It's going to have like a pole in the center there so we can actually hold it up because I don't think the structural integrity will work with a long, you know what I mean, long pathway. So once we get to that house, also that would be like an evacuation route. Maybe we can make that the entrance house where I come in, come across the bridge into this house. But I at least want to go to the next house. It would be like safe zone, so horde zone, horde house this, in my mind, then down there I can have like where I mostly live if I have to, or escape, you know. So at least I have a house to hide into if I have to. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Take the down. Right. So I know this episode is basically going to be about this and demolishing parts of the house. So I do apologise uh, for a boring episode, but if I do it off camera, then you guys are going to come back and it's going to be all demolished and you know, what the hell happened, how I did it, you know, did I use, did I use my axe, or did I do it differently, do I cheat, you know what I mean, I'd rather show you on camera exactly what I'm doing, so at least I don't get to, um, asked if I cheated, yeah, that's the best way. is gonna break. Alright. Well, if I, uh, if you guys have any comments, like if I should have done this off, off camera, then let me know and next time I'll do it off camera. Most likely when this one, when this episode comes out, hopefully it will be tomorrow or the next day. Uh, only because at the moment uh, YouTube is having an issue where it doesn't want to upload anyone's videos or it doesn't want to work. let you watch, it doesn't let you upload. So and it's not just me. Um, so that's frustrating. So I have about I think it's about four videos that I want to upload today that I can't. So, annoyed. So bad. Uh, get some energy back. Do, do I need water? What's that upstairs? Thunder is extremely loud. It's so annoying. Too, so I actually have to go hunting again, which sucks. So we're gonna put put me there. So 
Sorry guys, that whip snippet. <laughs> you guys didn't actually have to hear that and if, if you do, I do apologize that in my video nothing much, much I can do because someone wants to fucking go their lawn on a Friday after I turn this is up it will not be Friday dig out the mine a little bit more. Um, not a lot, but a little bit and then it became daytime so I went up and went hunting and went to get the airdrop. So, I did, get, I did dig out the mine. Um, I will do a little bit more. I try. I don't really want to do it off camera because one, it, the days go pretty fast in the game. So, by the time, so say today it's day 12 in the game, when I finish off the mine as far as I can go, it could be day 13, day 14, you know, almost horde night. So it makes it very difficult to finish off the mine knowing that there could be a day that like everyone, you know, where the hordes and stuff. So that makes it very difficult at the same time. Also, I planted these trees too. After I knocked them down, it gave me some seeds. So I planted them. Alright. So. Do we smack this down? Um. So it was on. For a second. Alright, so I have some. Not a lot, but I have some. Um. I want to make some frames. I think I make 14. I can only make 14, seriously? Things I can take. should do is create another fire I'm not, I'm not going to be going out that front door anymore because, as I, as I showed you before, I currently swacked the crap out of the front of the house. So, we can just go up there. At least if they get in, they've got a shitload of spikes to walk through. I normally leave the door because um, if I need to repair some spikes, at least I can do that. Uh, where are you? Where is it? Do I not have enough? I want to make a hunting knife. I don't have enough. So I probably shouldn't have scrapped that last one. It's in here, isn't it? Am I missing it? Yeah, yeah. 60, let's make 31. I don't want to use all my wood. That their llama or whippersnapper would just break down and they couldn't do it for the rest of the day. This is why I wish I had 
have soundproof room. some trees. Uh, yep. Alrighty. Uh, I'll get in there in a second. in here so I can clear my inventory. We're gonna go smash some wood, get some clay. Uh, the two things that we are definitely gonna need because the clay that I have is currently in the forge and I'm gonna need clay to build forges. So at the moment we'll put that on and we'll put that on and we'll take that. Right. So we'll put three here and there. Uh, we'll take that with us. But I'm um, alright, food. I have to go and find another bear or something. So, so I have, I have a good amount of clay. Just take the clay out. So we'll do that. This is going to cause some issues. Drop that. Um. Put the iron away. I I had it on me. No way that I will lose that iron. And uh, I'll take that with us. Get some wood because I'm gonna make some arrows. It's currently still fucking raining, seriously? <laughs> Ow. I wanna jump pretty high. Right, it's that cold. It's starting to snow. Let's make a shitload of arrows. Once I get the skill, I should be able to make some um, iron arrows. Which really come in handy. Just smashing that tree down nice. I just put it in the nest. Hmm, okay. I am after eggs. But yeah, I just need to find some uh, deer. Or, you know, bear again. Or chicken.
50 per forge. To make it, and once we've made it, we still need more for dinner. So fun. Which is why I took all that um, play out of my other forge. Once I get the forge downstairs, I'm actually not going to use that forge upstairs. How much do I have? Alright, so we really a good amount. I'm gonna keep going, but. So I think either today or tomorrow, the in the game, the houses should have had their stuff respawn. had an auger, that would be the best. The mine would be done within maybe, I don't know, an hour. So I've got 1,300. That's not bad. See you. Come on. Let's play. Because I know there's like clay right outside my house, which is pretty cool. We know we don't need stone. We can clearly say that. Uh, trees and food. Not a little bit. We have snow over here if I definitely if I have to. Oh, actually, there's a pond in the. Forgot about that. Pond. All right. What are you doing? What are you doing? That way, right past The main thing we want, animals. Pigs are alright too. Deer gives you more, but I think it'll be fine. A bear gives you a lot more, but to kill one of them, the way I killed it was very, very hard because I almost died. Alright, come on. Near me, deer. Oh, I'm can't. Didn't even know that was out here, but. Oh, we'll loot this. Oh, zombie on a roof. Jump down. Come 
Hammer. Wo? Okay. Why the zombies all want to Wow, really? Apparently, I just want to miss every single one. I need it, but not the type of animal I wanted. I will take the animal. You don't have to search the trash, I always do. Um, because you never know. These will give you coal. Also, if you smash these, they also give you um, cloth. Just in case you need a bandage. Goggles. Just wear them. Nah, goggles are better. So I was after food and come across this. Alright. Now if I have to have it, it would be even more. No, it does not. How fair is that? Uh, well, that sucks. Can I give me a D before I run out? Coal, maybe. Coal's not bad. Alright, let's so take the coal. At least that gives me something. I'd rather have a deer. But I think we'll run back home and we'll end it. And I'll hopefully find some. I might go hunting with some animals off camera. Just try and get some food because I'm currently running out. And I hate it. Unless I magically find a, a, a deer on the way back, uh, that would be fantastic. Go. Uh, deer. Come on, deer. Let's just run out of here for a little second. Give me a deer. So, why? There is normally so many fucking animals running around. But when you need them, you can't find them. When you don't need them, they're fucking everywhere. I'm 
happened in the BD, but. Drink this. Just by getting ready. Ah, so you're gonna do it, damn it. Yep, damn it, I gotta do it in the fucking fire. Let's just get shit back. So this will make it if I need water. How much I have? 22. Get maybe 30 in this, like a second. Hopefully, if it's one per jar, we fill up at least um, 30 jars. I'm not getting attacked by zombies while I'm doing this. <coughs> Sorry. I guess it's uh, the best we're gonna get with um water. Okay. It's really hard to hear anything with that fucking little snipper going. annoyed that there was no deer or pigs which is um pissed me off a little because how the hell am I meant to survive on food if you can't even give me any animals yep. come on at least be a deer somewhere <sighs> seriously yeah, that's not lucky. I was very surprised. I was very lucky when I found that bear, but I didn't think that I'd use up all that meat that fast. But then again, if it's your only food that you've got, then of course you can use it up, eh? I know the bacon eggs do give you more food, like food back when you eat it. Um, sorry, fullness, that's the word I was looking for. But, just, I'm annoyed. Alright, let's see, I don't need that. Don't need that. Cotton, I don't even pick up cotton, but okay. I'll take it. So, if I have to, I will cook the eggs on their own. I would prefer not to. Right. I do have corn still. Um, let's see. I know there's zombies outside. You can hear them. Um, got a good amount of coal, which is pretty helpful. So let's see some. To make milky water. It's one. Fucking beautiful. Oh, 70. So, 60. 60. Let's make all of it. And 
six fucking six minutes. I still have. I got a good amount. I got an alright amount of water. It's just. Seats go. Yeah. Um, try to get in there. Get there. Corn meal. Come on, I have so much animal hide, it's fantastic. It really is. I made so much shit. Good amount of clay, even better for you in there. Beautiful, so I got 2200. Beautiful. Um, I'll check this too. Alright, so if I throw down there, how much I can get? Two. I need six. Four. Six. Six, ten. That works. So as you can tell, these burn all right, but these ones burn ten times better. Like ten times better. Alright, so we'll put the chairs away. Um, I think. Let's see something. Tell it by fuel. Sorry, I haven't spoken. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I was just trying to work out how to get this biofuel going. So what can I do with these? I know I can craft them down. I just gotta remember what I can do with them. Uh, so you can start putting this stuff away. Uh, magnums. Oh yeah, two. Yep. I'd love to craft one. Seriously. If you just want to give me a book for it. That'd be even better. That hunting part. Hunting? Yeah, we we'll keep you. Just in case. I uh, know I need to make some bullets as well. Right. So I have a good amount of coal, which I'm quite happy for. Can use that downstairs in my furnaces. Like that. Let's craft that down there. Alright. That also clears up a good amount of room. I'm just gonna craft all that. Yeah, that works. Alright, we'll craft all that and then I'm gonna go and get some golden rod actually or some red whatever you freaking call them. Um what's that looks like? Nine. Alright. I do have some golden rod actually. Perfect. Uh I can well I've got corn. I can cook it too. Somehow I always keep ending up with iron, but I, can't, I don't even remember actually scrapping shit. Uh, let's see, let's make kind of that. Alright, 
so I think what we're gonna do is leave it here uh, next time we will hopefully be ready for, uh, we'll go back to the hospital actually and we'll loot the rest of that as much as we can get done and then we should be ready for the 14 day horde hopefully that I'm hoping Temperature going down. Yeah, okay. yeah, so basically, we should be ready for the seven day, uh, the 14 day horde by next episode 100%. Shouldn't have any other issues. Um, we've got some food, that should be enough for now. We've got some water going, we've got some snow for some water, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Uh, next episode, we'll work out get the rest of the shit out of that hospital because that's what we want to loot before day 14 because there's bound to be some good stuff in there especially some medication we do have an alright amount of medication but we want more antibiotics and we want more first aid kits they are the main things that we want uh, mainly because in a 14 day horde you're going to need to go out and loot their bodies because they do have some pretty good shit on them they do come and attack you so in case you get bitten by a dog because they do screw you over. Um, but other than that, alright, so I'm gonna end it here. Guys, uh, I hope you like and subscribe, and this is Remnants, and I'm out. Cheers, guys. See ya.